kwento meron ang PG at LM pagdating sa English o sa English. Bigyan po natin ang isang matabang palakpak ang aking kaibigan. Malakas na palakpak ang aking kaibigan na si Ginoong Galileo Go. Good afternoon. Okay. So, this morning, Dr. Pado discussed comprehensively the 14 domains and she showed you uh, sample lesson plans in mother tongue as well as in Filipino. So, I will no longer discuss uh, you know, the 14 domains, but I will go directly to the task given to me. Actually, um, the teacher's guide in English that we developed last year for grade three has two main parts, two main parts. The first one is the daily learning log. And the second one is the main body or the body of the teacher's guide. Why did we decide to, uh, to write DLL? It's because we want our teachers to to see the big picture before uh, she teaches day one, day two, day three, day four, and day five lessons. We want our teachers as early as possible to, to prepare the materials as early as possible. We want our teachers to know um, the activities that she'll be doing together with his or her pupils inside the classroom as early as possible. So, ang plano namin doon ay para mas maganda yung maagang pagpaplano. Okay? So, I'll show you kung anong itsura ng DLL. So, this is the daily learning log. So, as you can see, uh, we have there the title, Unit 1, Week 1, Lesson 1, and the text, the crow and the picture. And then, of course, we have in the first column, the lesson parts and uh, the days. So for the first row, we have the, the overview and or the objectives. And of course, you, you can read, um, you can see the, the objectives for day one. So we have admire the crow for thinking of a smart way to solve this problem and draw and write a sentence about the drawing. So... Parang ang general idea po, ang day one ay ginagawa every now and then to appreciate the story, for the students to appreciate the story or the text that we use to teach the reading skills and other literacy domains. Okay, so for day two, we have review, read words with short A, E, and I in CBC pattern, review, yeah, read selected sight words from the adults list and so on and so forth. So, yun. And then yung second row natin, makikita natin yung mga materials. Okay. So, makikita po natin dyan, yung second row natin, andyan na yung mga materials that, that, that our teachers need to prepare. So, isang ano lang siya, isang... isang Sheet lang, makikita ng teachers, ano yung kinakailangan i-prepare, ano yung kinakailangan pag-aralan, etc. Okay. And then, sa third row, makikita nyo dyan yung outline ng activities. Outline of activities daily. Okay. So, let's go to the main, o, o, the body of the teacher's guide. Kita po nyo sa likod, can you see it clearly? Hindi. Hindi pa rin. Pinalaki ko na yan eh. Ha? Ayun lang ang malaki. Okay, babasahin ko na lang para sa inyo. No? So, kaninang umaga, di ba ang ginawa ni Teacher Pelly ay pina-identify nyo sa inyo kung ano yung mga parte ng lesson na kung saan ay dinidevelop yung mga literacy domains. Okay? So we start with, of course, with day one. And we have the first activity, or the first uh, part of the lesson, Unlocking of Difficulty and Concept Development. Doon pa lang sa title, makikita nyo na kung ano yung 
literacy domain na sinasabi natin dyan. So obviously, the literacy domain that we are developing in that part of the lesson is vocabulary development. Okay, vocabulary development. But of course, syempre, as you encourage your students to, to share his or her knowledge or, or background information about the words that they are going to learn, of course, you are also developing uh, oral fluency, okay? And at the same time, you're developing comprehension, of course, okay? So, so for the unlocking of difficulty, divide the class into groups with group names based on the word stone. Bakit stone? Kasi yung ating story ay stone soup, okay? Uh, that's group S, group T, group O, group N, and group E. Each group will get six word strips. Words in the strips are traveler, village, pan, pot, ingredients, and soup. Tell the pupils they will play the game Think Ask Up to guess the meaning of six terms. The game will require fast thinking as a group. Okay. So say in the game, I will show you pictures or say something about one of those words. I will then say think to give you time to think about the clues in the picture or in what I said which will help you pick from the six words the one I am talking about. When you hear the word think, talk with your group mates about the given clues for the word. So andun yung oral language natin development. Next I will say ask. When you hear the word ask, Confirm your answer with your group mates and try to arrive at only one answer for the group. Finally, I will say the word up. When you hear the when you hear me say the word up, show the word your group has chosen from the six word strips. Your group will get a star for every correct guess you gave. Okay, let's go to the next. Okay. So here are the specific uh, Techniques to unlock the different, uh, the six uh, difficult words. For the traveler, the teacher will show picture of a person who goes from one place to another. And for the word village, she will say, it is a small town like the place you live in. For the word pan, show picture of a pan. Uh, naalala lang namin yung ilang mga lessons na nakita namin. Obvious na obvious na na madaling siyang i-unlock kung gagamitan ng picture, ang ginagawa pa, ini-explain pa verbally yung meaning ng word. So, kumbaga, mas madaling ipahindi din sa bata kung direkta na, na picture na yung, 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 yung word na yun. Uh, the next word is pot, show picture of a pot. Uh, ingredients. The teacher will say, these are the different food items you need to cook a dish. So, kinakailangan yung teacher, meron siyang uh, tunay, uh, either picture of ingredients or real, uh, what? Ingredients. Okay. And soup, show picture of a steaming bowl, or bowl, 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 bowl of soup. Okay, bowl of soup. Okay. So, hindi lang po dyan nagtapos yun. Uh, after na ma-unlock ma ma yung, yung, yung mga difficult words, that would not stop there. Okay, the teacher will uh, ask the students to answer uh, a specific activity in the LM to, to check whether the students uh, uh, gained the, or yeah, understood the meaning of the words that she presented. Okay. At ito yun. Okay. So what uh, literacy domains do we develop here? Uh, kasi siyempre kadugtong nun, so vocabulary development, word recognition, and then comprehension. Ito po yung activity natin. Read the words in the box. Complete the sentences with words from the box. Write your answers in your notebook. So the blank goes from one blank to another. What's the answer? The traveler goes from one soup to another. 
uh, one place to another. Uh, one village to another. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not looking at the ano. <laughs> and, then the, and the next one, put the blank for the blank in the blank and mix them well. Put the, put the ingredients for the soup in the pot and mix them well. So, ano yung natitest na, na domain dyan? Siyempre, comprehension. And the students need to read those sentences and comprehend, of course, the meaning of these sentences for them to be able to give uh, the right answers or the right words. Okay. Pero may kadugtong pa po yan. Ang kinuha ko lang ay dalawa lang na sample. No? Um, bago ko makalimutan, yung lahat po ng lessons na ginawa namin ay ganyan ang forma. So, yung may, meron tayong unlocking of difficulties na yung teacher ang ginagayad niya yung mga bata, how to unlock the meaning of those, of the difficult words. And then after that, meron ganito palagi. Palaging chinecheck kung naiintindihan ng mga bata yung mga bagong words. Ganun po yung forma nung teacher's guide na ginawa namin sa grade 3. Araw, uh, ano, no, every Monday, actu uh, actually yon every Monday. And then another activity under uh, vocabulary development. But this time, uh, we're focusing on the development of composing and writing domains. Get a clean sheet of paper, draw a big rectangle, divide it into two, draw a path on the left, draw a slightly deep pan with one handle on the right. Label your drawing. Write a sentence that tells how a pan is different from a pot. And then your sentence. So, so merong, yung isa ay may, napansin nyo yung ano, yung, yung, uh, 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 medyo varied yung activity. Hindi lang uh, using it in sentences, uh, fill in the blanks, but students will be required or will be asked to compose their own sentences using the words that they learn. Okay. And then we have the next part, of course, motivation question. Uh, just like Ma'am Feli, kay ng umaga sabi niya, that's schema activation, and of course, you're developing also oral language. Fluency. Okay. What is your favorite soup? Why do you like it? Masasagot pa ng mga bata to. Okay. And then we have the next part of the lesson. Motive question or establishing purpose for reading. In the story that I will read to you, the traveler also prepares a very delicious soup. It is not an ordinary soup. It is a stone soup. Do you know that story? No. no. Okay, mas maganda. From the title of the story alone, can you guess what kind of soup it is? What are its ingredients? Fill up the prediction chart with your guesses. As pupils gave their guesses, write the responses on the first column on the prediction chart. Then say, let's find out if your guesses are correct. So obvious na obvious, and then develop natin yan ay yung predicting skills ng mga bata. Predicting skill. Okay. Let's go to the next. Okay, dito na tayo. During reading na tayo. Tapos na tayo sa before reading. We are now in the during reading stage. Stone soup. There once was a traveler who came to a small village tired from his long trip. He had nothing to eat and hoped that a friendly villager would be able to give him some food. He came to the first house and knocked on the door. He asked the woman who answered if he, she could give him just a small bit of food. The woman replied, I'm sorry, I have nothing to give you. The traveler thanked the woman and went from door to door. Each time, the answer was, I have nothing to give you. And then the teacher will stop there and ask some questions. Okay, how do you think the traveler felt? 
what do you think will he do? So, obvious na obvious dyan, ang ating dinidevelop ay predicting skill. Okay. Let's find out. By the way, ano nga bang tawag sa uh, approach ba ito, Ma'am ma ma Peli? Anong tawag sa approach na to pala? Uh, later on na natin sagutin. Okay, let's find out. Let's continue reading. Then the traveler had an idea. He went to the center of the village. He took a small tin cooking pan from his bag. He filled it with water, started a fire, and dropped a stone in the pan. And then the teacher will stop again and ask, what do you think will happen next? And then, siyempre, sasagot ang mga bata niyan, isusulat ng teacher sa blackboard para later on, iti-check niya kung kayo ng guesses ang tama o kayo ng guess ang tama. Let's find out. Let's continue reading. Oh, I'd love to answer the villager. This soup will be a lot tastier if we only have some carrots. The traveler suggested aloud. Oh, I have some at home, said the villager. I'll go and get some. The villager came back with the carrots and handed it to the traveler. The traveler then cut the carrots into small pieces and dropped it into the stone soup. Soon another curious villager came by and was invited to join them. She went home and returned with some potatoes. A young boy passed by and soon joined the group, bringing his mother and the pot from their home to replace the small tin cooking pan. And then the teacher will stop there again and ask some questions. What is happening to the soup now? So it's getting more what? More delicious, shall we say? Or more tasty? Okay. What do you think will happen next? In time, a crowd gathered with everything offering their own favorite ingredient. Onions, salt, black pepper, cabbage, squash. Finally, the traveler removed the stone and declared, the stone soup is ready. And the whole village enjoyed the hot stone soup. So, alam niyo na hot stone, di ba? Yung stone soup. Siya ay talagang stone soup. <laughs> okay. mag enjoy kaya ang mga bata sa story ang to? Do you think they will enjoy this story? Sabi ni Sir Nestor, hindi daw. <laughs> Dinidera ko ni Sir Nestor. Okay. So we go to the next part of the story which is post-reading activities. Okay. Uh, may notation tayo dito for the teacher. Note for the teacher. Before the actual reading of the story, assign pupils to play the roles of some characters in some parts of the story where the traveler is cooking the soup, a passing villager asking, what are you doing? A curious villager who brought potatoes for the stone soup, etc. So, sa Madrid Sarita, merong uh, uh, role play na mangyayari. Ano? And then we have the discussion. Use the prediction chart as guide for discussion questions. Say, look at the predictions you made before I read the story. Palagi nakakalimutan ng teacher yan, ano, na nagpagawa siya ng prediction chart pero hindi na niya chinicheck pagkatapos. Kaya minsan na nangyayari mga bata, sinasabi nila, eh, hingi na hingi si teacher, hindi naman chinicheck kung tama yung aming sagot. Okay. Um, who went to the village? Sige nga, sagot nga tayo. Who went to the village? A traveler. Why did he ask help from the villager, villagers? Villagers. Okay. Did some villagers help him at once? Why did they not help him? Okay. They have nothing to, to offer, no? to share. How did the traveler feel when he could not get anything from the villagers? And what did he do then? Okay, the next activity will be place a pot or make-believe pot on top of the teacher's table. Ask the pupils assigned the role of the traveler to pretend he is cooking. The pupils should role-play putting a stone into, this, into the pot and stirring it. Okay, so obviously, 
What domain are we developing in this part of the lesson? Kadugtong pa rin nun? Okay. Reading comprehension and listening comprehension and of course, yung may predicting pa ba dyan? Wala na, ano? Wala na ang predicting. Tapos na yung predicting natin. Um, kinitest, kinicheck na kung tama yung mga predictions. Okay. Let's have the next. Okay. This part should be done through a role play by the pupils assigned with prompts like who came first, who came next, who came last, what ingredients did the villagers give for the stone soup, what kind of soup was cooked in the end, do you think it was a very delicious soup, why was the traveler smart, why was he resourceful, why, how can you be resourceful like the traveler. Obviously, the domain that we are developing here is Comprehension pa rin. Comprehension strategies or listening comprehension. Okay. And then we have the next part of the lesson, the last part of the Monday's lesson, engagement activities. Okay. So, may nakalagay dyan, refer groups to learner activity, learner's material activity 23, 24, and then 25. Kasi nasa LM po nakasulat yan. Tingnan natin ano yung sinasabi ng LM natin dito. Okay. So here are activity 23, 24, and 25. For activity 23, thumbs up for the traveler. Make a thumbs up card for the traveler. Write words of praise for his being smart and resourceful. Which part of stone soup did you like best? Draw it on the sheet. Then write one or two sentences about your drawing. And then activity 25 is still about on a clean sheet of paper, draw the traveler's stone soup recipe, write the ingredients inside the pot, write one or two sentences about the soup. So obviously, nakasulat naman dyan kung anong uh, literacy domain ang ating dinidevelop. That's writing, composing and writing, composing or writing. Okay. Hindi po siya composing? Oh. <laughs> Kala ko. Ah, okay. Hindi po siya handwriting. Okay. So, kitang-kita natin dyan, di ba, meron tayo tinatawag na reading and writing connection. Ano? Kinakailangan, yung mga bata, pagkatapos magbasa, kinakailangan makasulat. No? Para mas ma-express nila yung appreciation a story, okay? And then we go to day two. Oh. Tapos na yung day one. Day two na tayo. Tuesday. So, ang, ang focus natin ngayon ay grammar and decoding, fluency, and writing. So, apat ang focus na domains. So, hindi na siya mahirap makita sa English kasi in specify na namin doon yung mga domains na dinidevelop kada araw, kada parte ng lesson. Okay? Um, so, ang lesson natin is asking sentences and telling sentences. Okay? In a previous lesson, you learned what a sentence is. What is a sentence? Sometimes a sentence asks about something. Sometimes a sentence tells about something. Here are two sentences about stone soup. Ano pinapansin nyo dyan? Ano yung realization nyo dyan? Meaning, may mga lessons talaga ng grammar na hindi kayang tapusin ng isang araw lamang. Kinakailangan paulit-ulit siyang ituro. Depende sa complexity ng skill. Even in reading. Even in writing. Pero yung mga old practice natin, parang, well, baka ako lang yun, parang minsan yung isang skill, isang araw lang ituturo, and then forget it na. Wala nang follow up uh, the following day or next week or some other months or whatever. So, kinakailangan para mas matutunan ng mga bata, paulit-ulit na tinuturo. Either you, you teach it explicitly or you use it uh, parang ano lang, parang in-integrate in mo lang or whatsoever. Okay, um, and then who went from village to village? The traveler went from village and, and heard two sentences from belling the cat. Who were afraid of pat the cat and the mice were afraid of the pat the cat, whatever. So, yan yung ating lesson. Let's go to the next one. Still, uh, 
about, of course, about the grammar lesson, of course. Okay. Uh, read the sentences I have written on the board. What does the first sentence do? So it asks about something. This is an example of an asking sentence. So bakit hindi na sinasabing uh, interrogative? Bakit kinakailangang asking sentence na sabihin natin hindi interrogative? Kasi yung grade level ng ating tinitinan siya. Mas kayang intindi ng bata if we say asking sentence instead of using uh, yung medyo yung jargon na interrogative sentence. Okay. And then teaching chart. We have the teaching chart there. Okay. Let's go to the next. Okay. After nung modeling, presentation and modeling of uh, the skill, we go to the guided practice. And then refer the pupils to LM again, activity 26. So ito yung activity 26 natin. Is it a telling or asking sentence? Okay, copy the sentences in your notebook. Draw a line under each telling sentence. Draw a box around each asking sentence. Mahirap ba yung sentences? Hindi po ano. Talaga niyan ay, anong tawag diyan, Ma'am Feli? Pinaka, pinakasimplihan ng gusto ang, ang, ang mga lingwaheng ginamit. Okay, so meron pa tayo. Copy the sentences in your notebook. Circle, the capital letter, still kadugtong ng grammar lesson natin. John has a rod. What does John do with the rod? John catches cod fish with the rod. John likes cod his fish soup. Do you like cod fish soup? Okay. And then, tapos na tayo sa grammar lesson. We go to decoding, fluency, and writing. Okay. By the way, sa disenyo ng curriculum pala ng English, uh, sa grade 2 kasi, doon tayo nagsisimula ng TBR. Padating ng grade 3, tinutuloy yung TBR, teaching beginning reading pa rin. Okay? Lalo na sa first, second, and third quarter. Okay. Um, our lesson for this particular day about uh, decoding is short use CBC words. Okay. Show a picture of a pitcher with water. Say, what's this? Another word for pitcher is chug. Show word card or write chug on the board. What is inside the jug? Now I can pour the water from the jug to a cup. I can also pour the water into a mug. Have pupils read the words jug, mug, and cup. So obvious, ang dinidevelop natin dito na, na literacy domain ay PWR. The phonics and word recognition as well as vocabulary development. Meron pa bang ibang dinidevelop dito na nakita nyo na hindi ko nakita? Pag sinabi natin vocabulary development, that includes comprehension. No? Pwede bang isama sa vocabulary yung word na hindi naman niya alam ang kahulugan in the first place? No. Okay, and then we move to the next part of the lesson, which is modeling and teaching. What is the vowel in the middle of the words in the column? Let's sound out the word of the vowel U. Say, UG. Read the words again. What other words belong to the UG family? Let's read them. Okay, so yan ay mga examples natin. Okay, so obvious ang... The domain that we develop in this part of the lesson is phonics and word recognition and of course, vocabulary development. Um, emphasize ko lang po to na hindi nagtatapos yung, yung ating phonics and word recognition sa pag-decode lang ng words. But we move to phrases, sentences, and short stories. Okay? And then of course, after that we have again guided practice. At ito siya. Copy the choices in your notebook. Put a check mark in the circle next to each phrase or sentence that tells something about the picture. So ano yung tinitest dyan? So you are teaching, of course, PWR, and at the same time, you're teaching 
your testing comprehension. Di ba? Okay. Let's go to the next. O, tapos na tayo ng day 2. Day 3 na. Um, so this time, ang focus natin ay reading comprehension at saka decoding. Again, read, decoding pa rin fluency and writing. Kasi nga, ang focus talaga ng, ng teaching ng grade 3 ay reading talaga. Okay. Skill, less, skill lesson, sequencing events, use of signal words. Okay. Remember our story, Stone Soup? Let us read the sentences about the story. Post the sentence strips on the board at random. Guide the children in reading the sentences. After that, the villagers became curious about the stone soup. They added ingredients to the soup. Someone brought a pot. In the beginning, the traveler went from house to house to ask for food. No one helped him. Finally, the soup was ready. Everyone in the village enjoyed the delicious stone soup. Next, he went to the center of the village. He began to cook stone soup in a small tin pan. So obviously, obvious obvious, ang ating dinidevelop na literacy domain is reading or are reading comprehension, decoding, and fluency. Okay, kadugtong pa rin yan. Okay. This one. Kadugtong siya. And then we go to the guided practice. Guided practice. After ng guided practice, ang kasunod palagi na party ay independent practice. Alam naman natin ang, ang, ang difference nung dalawa, di ba? Alam natin ang kaibahan ng guided practice sa independent practice. No need to elaborate. Okay, so yan. And then meron tayong enrichment activities on decoding, fluency, and writing. Okay, enrichment activities. Medyo sinipagan yung writer dito kaya naglagay. Minsan walang enrichment, minsan meron. Depende sa sipag ng writer. Okay. Pero dapat meron palagi. Yan. Okay. So day four. Sight words on colors. So fluency. Writing and comprehension. Obvious pa rin, meron tayong vocabulary development. So, words. Mga color. Okay. So, review presentation and introduction. Show objects, each with different color. What is this? What, it is, what is its color? Have children use the structure? It, this, is, uh, or this is on, and it is blank. Okay, so yan. And then we have guided practice. Ang ikli, no? Kasi uulitin uli yun. Susunod na linggo. And then, still under guided practice, color me a color. And then, enhancement activity, independent practice, more guided practice, and Independent practice. And then we have this. Oh my God. Kita nyo, hindi ano? Hindi mabasa. Maliit eh. Okay. Pero, the domain that we are developing here is just decoding and fluency. Papabasa lang to sa mga bata. Uh, what is yellow? A buttercup's yellow. What is green? A cub's pillow. What is pink? A bud in a jug. What is black? A spot on a ladybug. What is white? A nun's dress. What is gray? Bugs Bunny, the rabbit. What is brown? A hand that's muddy. What is blue? Gums. Gum that's yummy. What is violet? Why? Just a violet. What is orange? Well, just an orange. <laughs> Sino gumawa niyan? Ma'am Nema pala. <clears throat> okay. Maliit na to. Huwag na natin ipakita to. Nakaka... And then, we go to day five. Oh, day five na tayo. Okay. Presentation. In the past three weeks, you listened to three stories. Can you remember their titles? Write the titles on the board. The Crow and the Pitcher, Belling the Cat, Stone Soup. 
These stories happen, happened in different places. We also met different characters in these stories. Okay, obvious yun, ang nasa taas naman nakita niyo doon, that we are developing reading comprehension, decoding, fluency, and writing. Okay, let us recall the story of the crow and the picture. Who was the character in that story? Was there any other character? Who are the characters in Belling the Cat? The three mice, the pat, the, the pat, and the cat. Pat the cat. Who are the characters in the stone soup? Okay. As you discuss, fill up the grid on the board. So that's still under reading comprehension. No? Uh, recalling story packs. And then we have this. Still part of that lesson. Now let us recall where and when each of these stories took place. Where did the crow and the picture happen? Okay, so nagtinuturo na dito yung, ano, yung mga elements of uh, story. Okay, and then we have guided practice and independent practice. Okay, refer the pupils to LM Activity 33, pages 45 to 46. Use exercise A and B as guided practice. Okay, note that even if the focus of the questions are on a story, grammar, pictures, the text gives fluency practice in reading words with short U or CBC combinations. Oh my God. Hindi it na naman. Okay, ayun. So that ends. Uh, uh, the one week, ano, lesson plan or lesson. That's all and thank you. Ano sila?